Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today to learn more about Vortex and how easy it is to set up our new pre-licensed Vortex cameras. From pulling it straight off the shelf at your local distributor to sitting down at your desk and setting up Vortex for the first time, I want to show you how easy the solution is from installation to using that cutting edge deep learning AI technology. But first, for those that are new to Vortex and VSAS, what is it? What does it do? Video Surveillance as a Service, or VSAS, is the industry's way of referring to cloud video. So you may have heard of Software as a Service, and if not, then you most likely have heard of Microsoft Office 365. If we compare the traditional Microsoft Office to the cloud-based Office 365, with the traditional Office, you're going to pay up front for the software and run it on your computer. But with the cloud model, yes, you do have those recurring payments, but that allows you to run the software in the cloud on their computer instead. And then you're always going to have the most up-to-date tools that's provided by Microsoft. Similarly, VSAS mirrors this trade-off with video surveillance. There are reoccurring licensing costs, but the cameras and the software are automatically updated, which allows you to use the most secure and up-to-date AI for the video surveillance provider. Now, there's two major types of VSAS. We have hosted and managed, and this is going to depend on the, where the video is stored. You have your managed video, and that's whenever the video is stored on site, as it is traditionally, but it's managed in the cloud. Hosted video is whenever the video is stored in the cloud, not on site, as well as managed in the cloud. And then hybrid video is where your video is partially stored on site and partially in the cloud, and that's where Vortex lies. VivoTech's new cloud-based VSAS solution, Vortex, integrates deep learning-based cameras with cloud hosting services. It's able to process multiple data streams like video, audio, and analytics metadata, sends out incident alerts, and also performs video searches using that metadata. The service is built on cloud architecture, which makes multi-site surveillance both simple and cost-effective. It provides greater flexibility with various camera models for every project's need, and our Vortex cameras are not going to hold you hostage. You can flash back to OnVIF if you ever decide to go back to that on-prem solution. With this, you also have reduced installation time, zero configuration, and the storage is scalable. It's very easy to add new cameras onto the Vortex as needed. Anytime, anywhere, remote management and viewing, making it easier for those multi-site enterprises and mid-size organizations to manage their video surveillance systems that are deployed across different facilities. You have automatic system and camera firmware upgrades, ability to instantly share and export videos, plus all of our Vortex cameras are going to provide you with a 10-year warranty as long as they are continuously licensed. And finally, of course, VSAS provides that steady stream of recurring revenue for our system integrators. Now, the main thing I want you guys to take away whenever you leave this webinar is that Vortex is easy to install and to use. It provides so many smart features from powerful people and vehicle AI analytics, sophisticated deep searches, secure cloud storage redundancy, all the while being very incredibly easy to install and to maintain. For the installation, there's no longer a need to know the IP networking addresses, the schemes or subnets. We don't need to open up ports to allow for remote viewing. No more camera configurations or adding to the cameras to the NVRs or the VMSs. Just power that camera on, scan that QR code, and then in no time at all, you're going to have access to your camera views anytime and anywhere. Now, Vortex provides you with a choice on the type of license to purchase based on what you need from the Vortex system in regards to storage. The standard annual license is going to provide cloud connection so that you can have that anytime, anywhere access to your cameras with unlimited video archiving. And if you're needing cloud backup for redundant or longer term backup storage, then the cloud storage add-on licensing is available. The add-on license provides you with 30, 60, 90, all the way up to 365 days of cloud backup for your recorded video. There's two lines of cameras depending on your AI needs. We have the Essential Series and the Premium Series. The Essential Series are our cost competitive line. They have a compact design. They can detect and search for both people and vehicles, and you can create real-time alerts for the people and vehicle-based rules, line crossing, loitering, and intrusion detection. You can now even create real-time alerts for objects. We have missing object detection and unattended object detection. 
while the premium camera series are going to provide the most robust AI capabilities. These are our specialty cameras that could do everything the Essential series can do, but they're also able to search for, for people and vehicles based on specific attributes like gender, age, clothing, and accessories like hats and backpacks. We could search vehicles by their color and types like cars, trucks, vans, bicycles, and motorcycles. Plus, with these premium cameras, you're able to perform profile searches, meaning that you can search by facial images. The Vortex camera is going to use edge storage for this VSAS solution. Edge storage is the use of in-camera onboard storage as the primary storage option, and it's going to offer these advantages. We have lower storage acquisition costs because there's no need for on-site recording systems. The AI integration and the network load is going to be reduced because of that edge-based real-time analytics and storage in this VSAS model. And then the scalability is another feature because adding another Vortex camera that incorporates the edge storage is so simple. So here's how all this works. The Vortex camera is going to record to the SD card with analytics always running. It gets 30 days of recording in standard definition or SD resolution, and that is going to be guaranteed. So SD for a 2 megapixel camera is 720p, a 5 megapixel camera is 960p. Recording in HD resolution or the camera's full resolution is activated only whenever a moving person or a vehicle is detected. So during playback, normally it's going to be SD resolution is your static scene, HD is for your dynamic scene. Now for the HD resolution, let's think about the onboard storage for the cameras being partitioned. One partition for our SD recordings and then another for our HD recordings. The storage for HD recording is fixed, so the amount of days of HD recording depends on the complexity and the business of that monitored scene. There's going to be enough space for 70 to 120 hours of HD recording in a 2 megapixel camera and about 140 to 170 hours of HD recording in a 5 megapixel camera. So if the average dynamic scene is 4 hours per day, then the camera is going to record 18 to 30 days of HD resolution. Once that HD storage is filled, the camera seamlessly switches back to that standard definition for the remaining days. Now remember I said that our Vortex cameras are easy to install. This now starts from the time that you grab them off the shelf at your favorite distributor. We made the installation a true plug and play solution with our Vortex cameras that come with pre-bundled license now. All the different cameras that Vortex provides now have that option to come pre-licensed with a one-year standard license. So whenever you want to get these, make sure that you grab the cameras with the one Y after the model number and then make your installation a breeze. With these cameras, the standard license automatically activates once you, the cameras go online. There's no need to log into your reseller portal to assign licenses. If you're looking for a fast and an easy way to get your customers up and running with their access to their camera views. Now, let me show you how easy it is to set up one of these new pre-licensed cameras. So in this demo, we've purchased two pre-bundled cameras off the shelf from the distributor, and we'll be creating a new account and organization. We'll add the cameras via the web UI, and I'll also show you how to do it very quickly through the app. Then we'll check to make sure the camera's firmware is up to date. We'll set up a few AI rules and then hand this organization off to our customer. All of this without having to get into our reseller portal, just in case you don't have a reseller portal just yet at the time of your first install. So we're going to start off by going into the user portal through the Vortex Cloud website. We're going to create an account. Go ahead and enter in an email address. Create your password and then create an account. You'll receive an email, you need to verify that email address, and then we can go ahead and sign in with the credentials we just created. It's gonna ask you to create your organization name, and then create, and you're done. Next, all we need to do is start adding cameras. We can do it by browser or by app. So if we do it by browser, we're just gonna click on Add Device, Enter in your camera's device ID or the MAC address. Name your device. And choose your time zone and add. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Now, if you want an even easier way to add those cameras, we could do it by the app by scanning the QR code. So first, we're going to log into our app with the account that we created. 
and then top left, click the icon, add devices. Scan that QR code. Create your name and then choose your time zone. Add it and boom, you're done. Let's do it again because that was so quick. Scan the QR code, rename the camera. Time zone and it's done. Now we can go back to our portal do a quick little refresh. Our cameras are going to show up over here, and here we could see that they're already licensed. Now let's go ahead and check for firmware updates. At this time, you should be able to update your cameras to version 4 or higher. So we want to go ahead and just get this updated now. Now your devices will disconnect for about 5 to 8 minutes, just depending and it will go offline. It will not be recording during this time, but as soon as it's done, it'll be up to date and you're good to go with all the latest AI features. Now, one of the features for Vortex is the automatic firmware update. So let's go ahead and set all that up. Go to system. We're gonna go to auto firmware update. Choose the days and times that work best for you. Go ahead and delete the default and click on add. Next, now let's go ahead and start organizing our cameras. For this demo, we're gonna pretend like these cameras are in two different locations. So at the bottom left, we're gonna create the device group. I'm gonna put one in Taiwan, and then I'm gonna put the other one in San Jose. At the far right of each camera, you're going to see some shortcuts. Here we can easily add these cameras to their respective locations just by clicking on that folder with the arrow pointing out of it. Choose the folder that I want it to go into and click on move. Do the same thing for the other camera. And now whenever we're in live view, we can view our cameras based by their location or however we want to organize this. Now let's add some AI rules. All Vortex cameras are going to provide you with three people and vehicle rules and then two object rules. For your people and vehicle rules, we have line crossing, loitering, and intrusion detection. And then for our object rules, we have missing object and unattended object. Now, all of our cameras can perform any of these uh, rules. The only difference is our premium cameras are going to be able to handle 10 rules at a time, and our essential cameras can handle five rules at a time. Here, we're creating an intrusion detection box. Go ahead and manipulate our lines. We're going to choose vehicle, condition out to in, and click on save. And then the final uh, vehicle or people detection rule that we can create is loitering detection. Go ahead and adjust our zone. We're going to choose vehicle for this one, and let's choose 30 seconds and save. I want to demonstrate the object rules that we now have for our camera. So we're going to do missing object detection. You're going to define the area that you're going to be looking for objects to become missing. Go ahead and size your minimum and maximum object sizes. How long these objects need to be missing before we consider them gone and then save. And then we're, let's go ahead and create the unattended object detection. Same thing, very similar thing to the other one. Uh, create our area. Define the max and min object size. Our trigger condition for how long those items need to be in the view. And then click on save. All right, and now that we have our camera set up, now we can go ahead and add the reseller account if you have one. So this way you can manage your customers' cameras with your own within your own reseller portal. So if you don't have a reseller account already, just email us at vortex underscore partner at vivotech.com to inquire about this and we'll get you set up.
So from here, we're going to go to System, and then Reseller Management. Go ahead and hit Add and enter in the reseller account um, email address to this. Go ahead and provide remote access and allow. The next step is to add user accounts if you need to. So we're going to go under Users. For this demonstration, we're just going to invite a user. We're going to enter in their email address and set them as organization admin. Now you can set up other kinds of accounts using different roles if needed. For this one, we're just going to do admin. Now, if you, the reseller, created this organization with your own email address, you're going to need to transfer ownership of this account to the actual owner of the organization. So in order to do this, you've created their account, they're an admin, we're going to go under system, and then we're going to click on transfer. From here, we click on transfer to the other admin, and that's it. It's over. Then, because we need to get out of this account, we no longer need to be a part of this organization, we're going to go ahead and delete this. So as long as you're the reseller account for this organization, you're still going to be able to manage and have remote access with the customer's permission. In order to delete your account, top right, we're going to click on that icon. And then click on My Account, go to Advanced, and then delete your account. And now you're ready to go and install other Vortex cameras and your customer is all ready to go with this one. Now, of course, there's plenty of other features and functions that Vortex is capable of that can be set up. But I just wanted to give you the quick and easy way to get this new organization and the cameras up and running. Now, you may recall I talked about the premium cameras being able to detect attributes from people and vehicles and that all the cameras can perform some type of deep search. Well, all the different searches that Vortex boasts of can be done without any setup or maintenance on your end. Every Vortex camera includes deep learning AI. They perform the analytics on the edge. And this is a key feature of the Vortex AI. The core of the video analytics are done on the camera side, not in the cloud server side. The onboard video analytics detects people and vehicles and even faces and extracts all of those features. That metadata is saved in the cloud for post search. So we have scene search. That's a deep search that's available for our essential and our premium cameras. And then it's going to search single cameras using line crossing, loitering, intrusion detection. That's defined at any time. Our premium cameras, though, also have that capability of performing the other deep searches. We have attribute searches for people and vehicles using gender, clothing colors and accessories, vehicle type, and even color. And then we have research or re-identification so that we can match the person of interest across different cameras so we can track their presence throughout all the cameras in the organization. All of this with this very easy to use interface, we can find white trucks or orange buses or even men wearing purple pants across many different cameras. All of this is a breeze and can be done in seconds. All right, everyone, that's going to conclude our webinar showing you how easy it is to install our new true plug and play pre licensed cameras. So, for more information on our new VSAS solution, please visit vortexcloud.com. We're going to click on the Contact Us tab, fill out that information, and one of our reps will contact you directly. You can also email us for new inquiries. Please email us at vortex underscore partner at vivotech.com or if you're an existing partner, you can email us at training and a at vivotech.com. If you'd like to view more webinars on Vortex or any of our other products, please visit our Trading Academy. Also, if you're not a VivaTech channel partner already, then you may be missing out on huge savings for your projects. Get extended warranties, services, and margins just by joining. Please sign up at partnerportal.vivotech.com. Thank you all for attending today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.